Hi everyone, it's 21 Days to Fred with Walt Keller. Well, I've got the phone out today because I wanted to make a phone call to a, a person who I've heard about and who I'd really like to talk to, someone that I was recommended to, someone who, like me, is in kind of this world of mistaken identity. But he's got quite a few more years in it. And his name is Steve Weber. So I'm going to call him right now and we'll see what he has to say. I've got him on speakerphone. I'm so glad that you could join us for uh, this 21 Days to Fred. You know, it's this YouTube series about how I got this haircut and, you know, suddenly everybody started to think that I looked a lot like Fred Rogers after I got the haircut. And um, then, of course, I found out about you um, and you have a very interesting story about your line of work and about somebody that you look like. Yeah, I, uh, I was just minding my own business one day back in uh, 1981, and someone said, hey, you look like the guy from Bosom Buddies. And I'm like, wow, I do? I'm like, who's that? They go, I don't know. We don't know his name. And nobody knew what his name was because he was an unknown actor. And, uh, and then the next 10 years, I... I heard, hey, has anyone ever said you look like Tom Hanks? I heard that a thousand times, or maybe a couple thousand times. And it, it happened literally every time I went out. And it turns out Tom Hanks is just two years older than me, so we were both young guys in our uh, first, in our, we were in our 20s at that time. So it's been a long time, like 37 years ago is when it all first started. Hmm. And then uh, 1994, I was, uh, I was, Forrest Gump for Halloween, and uh, I cut my hair cut, and uh, that was the scariest part about being Forrest Gump the first time, is I had to kind of shave my 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 head up above my ears, uh, and uh, and so I did, and, and now, you know, 25 years later, if I don't have my hair shaved up above my ears, I feel funny, so that's the, <laughs> that's the story of the haircut. Wow, so it, it was a situation where you went to a Halloween party dressed as Forrest Gump because the movie had just come out, and you thought, well, so many people think I look like him, this is going to be the best costume of the night, and it probably turned out to be that way, yes? Yes, uh, myself and Judy Jetson uh, won uh, first place in the, in the costume contest, so I put the costume uh, in the closet, and I thought that was the end of it. And then there's a news story, and they say they're opening a Baba Gump Shrimp Company in Monterey, California. And I was living in San Jose, and and uh, it was one of those very strange moments when you you go, if I uh, if I've got to if I've got to do this, I've got to do it right now. And uh, I did, and I, I picked up the phone uh, the next day, and I called the people who I you know I did little research and found out who was opening up the Bubba Gump restaurant. The new hire people were there and corporate people were there and people from Paramount were there. And, and I walked in and got a standing ovation. I, I worked for him for 15 years and I uh, opened 20 restaurants and helped them open 20 restaurants in the U.S. and, and uh, eight international. So it was quite a run, quite, you, a, you quite a fun adventure. Basically, you traveled the world as Forrest Gump. As I was always in locations that were tourist locations, high traffic, high foot traffic, and, uh, and I would just hang out and talk to people, and uh, I, I estimate that I talked to a million people wow. uh, as the character over the 15 years, and I, I had my photograph made several million times because people were just walking by and taking pictures. We were mostly sitting on the bench, you know, interacting, and and uh, yeah, it was just a, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. You've been Forrest Gump for all these many years. You you're really kind of more Forrest Gump than than Tom Hanks was Forrest Gump. He yeah, he created the role, and uh, he deserves all the credit for that and the great job he did. But yes, I've been I've been I've been playing the character for the last twenty plus years. Tell me a little bit about what it's like to be. A professional look-alike. Well, you're right, uh, Walt, in that I didn't uh, necessarily want this. Uh, 
it, it found me. And the story that I like to use uh, is that uh, at the beginning of the movie, Forrest Gump, the feather comes and lands at Forrest's foot, and he reaches down and he picks it up. And and the feather represents the opportunities that come into our lives. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes, like, feathers just keep showing up over and over again. And uh, the fact that I look like uh, Tom Hanks and the fact that you – I look like Fred Rogers is just a feather that keeps showing up and, and at some point we finally decide, well we gotta do something with it. And so I just it just sort of happened and I had to learn on the fly how to, to be the character and uh, it took it took me uh, a couple weeks to get like kind of the basics down and be comfortable with the role and then it took me a couple of years to really, really get good. And I worked pretty hard at the beginning of the first few years to really uh, figure out how to entertain people and to gauge people who came by and so that every interaction that happened, the people felt special and they felt like uh, they felt like they were meeting Forrest Gump. And, and so I kind of had like a switch in my head that when I would show up and put on the costume and then walk out in the public, like I became the character and then I was the character for the next couple of hours. And, uh, and then when it was over, like after doing it for like three days or four days, um, you know, Thursday or Friday through Sunday, I would take a couple of days and kind of decompress and then I'd start it all over again. So that just went on for, for 10 years full time and then for another five years part time. And you're doing kind of a, a, a countdown um, of, of the best scenes of Forrest Gump, isn't that right? And then as the 25th anniversary is approaching, that's coming up on July 6th this mm-hmm. year, 2019, I, I thought I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pick 94 of the best scenes and I'm going to create a little video and share uh, my thoughts about that particular scene and, uh, and the life lesson that I got out of it. And I think that probably a lot of other people did too. Uh, of course, m- most people didn't uh, analyze it. They just kind of instinctively know that Forrest had a lot of wisdom and the things he said and the way he behaved uh, was the way that uh, all of us like to believe we behave and it kind of comes down to doing the right thing when when people aren't watching or doing the right thing when people are watching and that's that's who Forrest Gump was. He was a, a fellow with a lot of character and that's why we loved him. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a high character kind of person. Not too unlike Fred Rogers. But do you have any last uh, bits of advice for a guy like me who cut his hair and one day woke up looking a lot like Fred Rogers? I, I do, and I, I think that it's great that, uh, that you have... <laughs> you're, you're probably the first guy who understands exactly what I uh, went through when I cut my hair. And so uh, I, think it's, I, I think it's great what you're doing. I think that you should embrace it and, and realize that it brings a lot of joy to other people. And, and for that reason alone, it's worth doing. Uh, if, 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 if the reason that you do this is uh, to share the, the wisdom of Fred Rogers and to share what he meant to a whole generation or two of people, then uh, you, will, you will have uh, carry on that legacy and be helping people. Well, thank you, Steve. I, I appreciate those words and, and all of your time today. Uh, I think everybody that's watching this is, is really going to get a lot out of it, and I hope that they go to your website and find out more about what you're doing to keep Forrest Gump alive in our lives, too. Such a marvelous interview with Steve Weber, America's real-life Forrest Gump. I loved how he talked about opportunities as feathers, the way Forrest Gump did, and I wonder about opportunities like these feathers that get laid at our feet from time to time. Have you ever had those kinds of opportunities? I imagine everyone does to a certain extent, but tell me about your feathers, your opportunities in life, and how did they work out? Make those comments in our comments box here on YouTube. If you can, please subscribe to 21 Days to Fred, and or uh, look us up on Facebook or on Instagram at Walt Keller. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.